Good morning, guys. Ignore the Tupperwares in my um, back seat. I actually have had those since I moved. They belong to my parents. I borrowed them from them to bring stuff over to the apartment when I moved out. And it's been almost a year, and I just emptied them the other day, so they're in my car, so I can give them back to my parents, so ignore that. But I'm actually here with my natural, fabulous hair. I'm on my way to the BoxyCharm photo shoot. This is my first ever shoot with BoxyCharm, so I'm super excited. My hair is looking a little crazy. I just washed it and, like, ran the blow dry over it, so it was dry. Um, but they are going to do, like, my hair and my makeup and all that stuff when I get there, so... I'll see you guys soon when I get over there. Get my makeup done. So excited with Gabby. Hey. Getting this crazy hair done with Amanda. Yay. Thank goodness with my hair. You guys saw this morning. Okay, guys. Hair and makeup is done. I am obsessed. It looks so pretty. I was asking so many questions the whole time she was doing my makeup. I was like, what are you using now? What are you doing now? It looks so good. I love it. And she used... Um, the eyeshadow palette that's coming in the September Boxy Charm from Pure Cosmetics. Oh my god, I'm gonna find it so I can show it to you guys. At this point, when you're seeing this vlog, you're already probably gonna have your boxes or at least have seen what's in the boxes on Instagram. But oh my god, the palette is so nice and look at how beautiful the eyeshadow came out. Like, I cannot wait to get my palette to play with it. It's so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> We did take some pictures, they put out our straws for Starbucks. It's all good. Just drink it like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be my boxy charm unboxing for the month of September. Sorry to put a little sticker with my address on here, so we're just gonna cover that up with my hands. So this month's box was super, super, super awesome. If you watched my last BoxyCharm video, you know that I was already raving about this month's box. I think I like this month's box even better than last month's box. This one is awesome. If you're interested in signing up for BoxyCharm, I will put a link below so you guys can sign up. But other than that, let's get started. So I already have my face done. I have on foundation. I have a little bit of bronzer slash contour on, some highlight. So when you get your box and you open it up, you're gonna see a little pamphlet or a little piece of like a little flyer in here. And the theme for this month's box is a boxy baddie. If you go to the box Trump Instagram, um, you'll see pictures of me acting like a baddie. I'm like, yes, with my ponytail, my slick back pony. That's giving me a facelift. They're also doing like a little giveaway. So if you post a picture using any of the contents from your box this month and just hashtag boxy baddie, you'll enter for a chance to win an exclusive boxy box worth $400, which is super awesome. So if you use any of the contents from the box and post an Instagram selfie, um, make sure you tag boxy charm and you hashtag boxy body. So the first thing that you get in the box when you open it up and the first thing that you're going to see is your Per Cosmetics Soiree Palette. Guys, if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my story, then you know that I already did an Instagram get ready with me using this palette. This palette is awesome. When Gabby used it on me on the photo shoot, I was like, oh my God, I love this palette. Like the color scheme is beautiful. It's like a really nice combination of like these nice, you have these two warm tones, you have these two more cooler tones, you have the soft, more peachy tones. It's just awesome. And then you got all these beautiful shimmers that are absolutely incredible. I love this palette. And it has like a really nice mirror on it, which is great. This palette retails for $34 and BoxyCharm is like 21 bucks a month so that's crazy that we already got a palette that's $34 that's already more than the entire box cost so I'm just gonna do a pretty simple easy to do go to kind of like daytime type look using this palette I'm not gonna do anything too crazy but you can definitely do a lot of day to night looks with this palette one of my favorite things about this palette is that it does have a nice bra one highlight shade it has this one right here called mogul which is more of like a yellowy type shade which is what I like because my skin is very yellow and like olive but they also have this really nice peachy color called Private Party. So if you're somebody with a little bit more of a cooler skin tone and you're not so yellow like me, Private Party would be a beautiful brow bone highlight for you too. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Mogul, which is the more yellow highlight color. It's a nice matte and I'm just gonna put this all over my brow bone. You guys know that I always like to start my eye looks with a nice creamy matte shade on my brow bone and then I'll go in with a shimmer to kind of intensify it later. So I'm gonna go in first with the color Gala right here, which is this kind of like really soft brown color with a kind of a pinky undertone. And I'm using a Morphe M502, one of my favorite blending brushes. Oh, and I didn't mention it before, but can we just appreciate the packaging on this palette? It's beautiful, it's like marble, which who doesn't love marble? If you don't love marble, guys, get on it. Marble is the shape. So it's marble with like rose gold lettering. It's, it's beautiful, like it's such a pretty palette. I'm gonna tilt my head back. I'm just gonna put this directly through my crease. 
I will tell you though, I know this is kind of weird. These mattes are amazing. They blend, like I don't know if you can tell how easy these mattes are blend. This matte color is blending right now. Like they blend incredibly and there's like next to no fallout. They're awesome. Like I already have my face on and it doesn't even fall out on my face. But they do, um, these colors do go on a little bit darker than they look in the pan. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but Gala looks like a really, really, really light color. And on my eye, it transfers a lot darker when you actually put it on. So just keep that in mind when you're using the colors. So now that I've got that nice color down and it's looking good and nice and blended, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into splurge to just kind of intensify it a little bit more. I brought Gala all the way through my crease. I'm going to keep splurge a little bit closer to the outer edge of my eye. So I'm not going to take it all the way in. I'm going to take it about halfway in. And I'm also putting this corner on the outer edge of my eye. I put Gala on the outer edge of my eye too. I'm basically just building to give my crease some nice definition and to just give my eyes a little bit of definition. I'm done blending on this side. That's how easy these colors are to blend together. It's, it's incredible. They're awesome. This is definitely, I think, my favorite palette that I've ever gotten in BoxyCharm. Like, it's amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the color right here called Socialite, which is this really beautiful red and reddish brown color. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes up with the little palettes. I love this brush and I always forget about it because it's so little that in my like brush cup, I lose it. But this is an awesome brush. This is like the only brush that I think comes in palettes that I actually like. So I'm just going to put this on the outer V of my eye and then blend it into the outer edge of my crease. So again, I'm keeping this color most concentrated on the outer edge. So I started with the first color all the way through the crease, the second color halfway through the crease, and this one just on the outer edge of the crease. And there's my phone. I don't know how daytime appropriate this look is. The plan was to do like a nice, easy daytime look, but I wanted to use as many mattes as I could from the palette, as many colors as I could, so you guys can really see how it works because I love this palette so much. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to do a shimmer on my lid? You know what, for the sake of this video, let's do a shimmer on the lid. That way I can use two shimmers. So I'm going to go on with this color right here, which is the color Twinkle, which in the photo shoot um, that we did for this box, this is the eyeshadow that's all over my lid. It's beautiful. Like, look at how beautiful that color is. It's like this really beautiful, like, rose gold. It's so nice. Perfect. So beautiful, loving it. So the top part of the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. And that's the only thing. There's not really a good shimmer to highlight your brow bone in here because these are more like metallic shades. And on your brow bone, it might just look a little bit chunky. I personally like things that are more like a sheen. I usually use a highlighter, like a face highlighter to highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna use this color right here from the um, Femme Rosa collection from the little sheep. It's called the Her Palette. This is the Her Palette that um, ColourPop did in collaboration with Karuchi. It's like the face palette, and I love this highlight. It's what I have on my face right now. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it's like literally the color of my skin just with a sheen. So it just looks so beautiful and natural, and it looks so nice as a brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna clean off, I cleaned off my brush a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight shade and just put it right there. Just on the middle of my brow bone, like right underneath of my arch. And it just gives your eyes like a nice little lift. You know what I mean? That's the only thing that this palette doesn't have. It doesn't have a good inner corner highlight shade or a good brow bone highlight shade, which is fine because I say it all the time, but like I travel with like 90, you know, palettes at a time. Like I can't just take one palette. When I travel, I always have like a good gajillion. So I got something for everything at all times. You know what? I'm actually going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into this color Epic right here. And I'm just going to smoke my top lash line a little bit. I actually haven't used the deeper color, so I've been wanting to try one out. I'm just gonna go along my lash line as so, kind of like on the outer edge, to just give like a little bit more definition to the eyes. I did get a little bit of fallout. It was very minimal, but I did get a little bit of fallout with that darker color. So I'm gonna mix together Stunner and Splurge, these two mattes right here, which were two of the ones that I used on my crease. I'm gonna mix the two together, and I'm just gonna smoke out my whole lower lash line. I'm gonna go from the outer edge, and actually, I'm gonna take it about three quarters of the way in. I'm not gonna take it all the way into my tear duct. Take it to about right there. You saw how fast that was? Like, these colors are just so pigmented and they're so blendable that it's so fast to apply them. It's crazy. So now I'm cleaning off my little brush, and I'm gonna go into this beautiful color Glitzy right here, which is this, like bronzed gold color. And I'm going to put that right on top. But I'm going to take this all the way into the inner corner. So it's even going to be in this little area. Like right before my tear duct where I didn't put anything. 
I've been obsessed with putting shimmers on my lower lash line. It just makes your eyes look so glowy and kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it just makes your eyes stand out so much. It makes them look so like, mm, you know, like so like, just, I don't know, good. I just like how it looks. And every time I do it to clients, they're like, oh my God, my eyes. And I'm like, shimmer on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my inner corners really quick and I'm going to use the Gimme More palette from ColourPop. I'm going to mix together this gold color and mix in just a little bit of the white color to make it a little bit more beaming. Just going to pop that right in there. Ooh, so gorgeous. So I'm not gonna do lashes today just because, like I said, I was at a photo shoot yesterday and I don't know why. Sometimes um, lash glue kind of irritates my lash line even if I use a hypoallergenic one. I think it's just if I wear lashes too many days in a row, it kind of bothers my lash line. So I'm gonna skip on lashes today. I'm just gonna wear mascara. We've got the eyes done and you saw how fast and easy that was. And like, what a pretty look. Like. You can do so many things with this. I'm so excited to do like a really nice, like cool toned, smoky eye with this color Cosmo over here. Oh my God. I can't wait. I'm so excited to do that. So the next thing that comes in the box, which is right here, is a MAC eyebrow pencil. Mine came in the color Lingering. And the MAC eyebrow pencil retails for $18. Now I already did my brows off camera. I didn't use the brow pencil just because I don't really use brow pencils anymore. This was actually the only thing that I used to use to do my eyebrows back in the day. But now I use pomade and I use powder and I use like my little um, gimme brow, brow from Benefit. So I didn't want to use this on camera. Um, because I kind of want to give it to my mom or my sister because they still use brow pencils. So I was like, I'll just give it to you guys, you know. But this is an awesome brow pencil, especially if you're somebody that's into brow pencils. I used to use this and it used to last me all day long. And I would get compliments all the time. People would be like, wow, your eyebrows look really good. Like, it makes your eyebrows look really natural. It's really little, so you can really do really nice little hair like strokes. It's a great, great, great pencil. I just personally prefer pomade at this point in time. Um, but this is an amazing brow pencil. And the fact that MAC, like MAC Cosmetics is in BoxyCharm. That is just insane. Like, that is so cool and it's such a big deal. Oh my god, I just realized I messed up so bad. We also got a brush duo. An eyeshadow brush duo. And I just did my eyeshadow and I didn't use the brushes. Like, really? I messed up, guys. I'm sorry. But we got a brush duo um, from, the brand, from the brand Bodyography. And it's $20 for these two brushes. So it comes with a... It comes with a flat shader brush. And it comes with an angled liner brush. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't use them guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go back into the color twinkle the lid color and I'm just gonna put a little bit more on using this brush I mean the brush is super soft. It seems to be applying the shadow really good You really can't go wrong with brushes though like these brushes do feel really nice They're really soft. I love little brushes like this because they really allow you to get into little areas I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the color epic up against my lash line using the liner brush. To be honest with you guys though, brushes are brushes. Like I love when I get brushes and BoxyCharm and like I have the Morphe Me subscription, but I love getting brushes because I go through brushes. Like you don't understand, like I need a brush for every little thing. Like I love having a lot of brushes because it's like having all the perfect tools to be able to like create your look and you never know what you're gonna need. So the fact that two brushes came is awesome. I kind of use them just now. They seem really good. They seem really soft. I mean, I personally like them. So moving on from that, the next thing that came in here is a loose blush from Studio Makeup. It looks like this, and it is in the color, there is no color, it's just called the Luminous Loose Blush. And this retails for $35. Now we've gotten Studio Makeup um, eyeshadow palettes, we've got two of them in other boxy charms, and both of those palettes are amazing. I use them all the time, I actually use them in videos here on YouTube. So let's try out this loose blush. I did swatch this, and it does seem like it has like glitter in it but i mean we'll see now when i try it i don't really like stuff that has glitter in it it's gonna be on my face i don't know about that but let's try it out so i put some in the lid and i'm just gonna dip my brush into it loose blushes kind of stress me out a little bit i just like loose products in general stress me out a little bit because they're so messy and i'm like so clumsy i spill everything so it's like i don't know i honestly don't know how often i'll reach for this you know what when you swatch it and when you look at it, it looks like it's gonna have glitter in it, but when on the face, it doesn't seem to be transferring any glitter at all. It's actually a really nice color. It's a nice like pinky, peachy blush. I feel like this is a pretty universal color for everybody. And it seems to have blended out really easily, so that's good. So the next thing we got is a hair conditioning mask from Briogeo. It says, don't despair, repair. Deep conditioning mask with no sulfates, no sil silicones, and no parabens. 
awesome. So I haven't tried this yet, but I do love getting conditioning treatments and stuff in my BoxyCharm because as you guys know, I have very curly hair. I don't know if you've ever seen my curly hair actually here on YouTube. Not in a while, I haven't come out with my curly hair, but my hair is naturally very curly, so it's very dry. So I love these conditioning treatments. Actually, during the week, um, unless I'm filming or I'm going out somewhere, my hair is usually always in a slicked back bun with a conditioning treatment in it, so I'll definitely be trying this out next time I wash my hair. And then the last thing that we got in the box was a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, which this is my favorite, like, this is definitely in my top three favorite lipstick formulas of all time. The ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips are amazing. They're incredible. So at the photo shoot, Gabby used Strip on me because everyone's kind of getting a different color. I think everybody gets one of three colors. In my box, I got Strut. So I will put a picture of myself here from that day of the photo shoot so you guys can see what Strip looks like on my skin tone. But today, I'm gonna use Strut so that you guys can see how this one looks on my skin tone. Strip is a little bit more pink and it's a little bit lighter. Um, and Strut seems to be a little bit more brown and like a little bit cooler. So let's see what this is all about. So this is what Strut looks like. It's definitely more mauve -y. it's a little bit more brown. Personally me, I like Strip better. This is just more like within my tones and more of like what I'll go for. But Strut is really beautiful too. It's just a little bit more cool toned. I do love these cool toned colors, especially now for the fall. I feel like my makeup complete cha completely changes in the fall. During the summer, I'm super into like glossy nudes and like super luminous foundations and like very little minimal eye makeup and now as the holidays roll around and winter rolls around i'm like i want a matte foundation with a cool toned lip and a smoky eye who am i how does this happen i don't know but this is the finished look guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you try out this look and you do the same look using the soiree diaries pally pally <laughs> the soiree diaries palette from the boxy charm and you do post a picture on instagram make sure to hashtag boxy baddie so you can enter the chance to win the 400 dollar boxy charm gift um and tag me so i can see you you guys know i love seeing your tagged videos when you do my looks well oh, i forgot to mention these ColourPop ultra satin lips retail for six dollars and this hair mask retails for twenty dollars so when you add up the whole box it comes up to a whopping 133 dollars and you paid $21 for the box. So since I am working with BoxyCharm now, they're nice enough to send me my BoxyCharm free of charge once a month so that I can share all the products with you guys. But prior to me working with BoxyCharm, I always paid for my own BoxyCharm. So I never canceled my membership. I still have my membership going because I decided that even though I get my box for free um, every month, I wanted to gift a box to one person every month. So every time I post these videos from here on out, I will be doing a giveaway for the box of the month. I know a lot of people aren't able to subscribe to BoxyCharm for whatever reason, whether it be that they can't afford it or just whatever the reason may be. And I just wanted to give all of you guys an opportunity to be able to enjoy the contents of the box the same way I do and the same way all of us Boxy babes do. So if you're interested in winning this month's box um, as a little gift from me to you, then just go ahead and comment below. If you comment below, you will automatically be entered in the giveaway for the BoxyCharm of this month. I put all the comments like randomly into this website and it randomly picks a winner. And then I will contact you so that you can give me your address so I can ship you over a BoxyCharm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful as I always hope that you find my videos helpful. I hope you're excited about the giveaway that I'm starting. I'm super excited to be able to give something from me to you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more of my videos, then just please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.